race fans. I'm commentator Sandy Pondwater coming to you from Frederick, Maryland, where Cell Wars presents the R2 DF65 Championships. Here are the sellers competing for the title. Number 463, Albert Chatard. Number 630, Winston Crowley. Number 78, Alan Chrisinger. Number 965, Chris Carpenter. Number 65, Mike Campbell. Number 93, Kyle Russell. Number 46, Mari Spina. Number 777, Bart Selling Mahi. And number 353, Rob Dutton. The sellers have completed their skippers meeting, so let's go racing! Okay, so after race 7 in this championship series, the current standings are Bart is sitting on top with 17 points, but he's tied with Mike, but he holds the tiebreaker. Rob has 28 points in third place. Mari has 36 points in fourth place. Albert has 37 points, as does Kyle in sixth place. Chris has 40 points in seventh. Alan has 44 points in eighth. And Winston has 60 points in ninth place. Now remember, after this next race, they will have one throwout because there's one throwout for every eight races. Now let's see how Vegas' odds are currently. Well, Bart and Mike sit on top at 2-1, to one, so Vegas thinks either one of them is the favorite to win this next race. Rob is coming in at 4-1, to one, as is Mari and Albert. So they do have a pretty good shot, according to the money, to try to come in and probably at least the top four. Chris is sitting at 5-1, to one, as is Kyle. And Allen is down to 7-1, to one, and Winston comes in at 9-1. to one. Now, Winston is curious here because he actually has shown signs of life after the break, and, and he got his boat repaired a little bit, and that jib seems to look better. Um, the other person that is moving up is Mari, but she still is having boat problems, so we'll have to see if she can solve that problem. Albert... The new kid on the block, he has looked really good. Now let's listen to the start of race number eight. Ten, nine, eight, Get out the way, seven, five. six, five, four, three, two, one. And look at that. Bart and Mr. International Mike Campbell get off to a great start they both hit that line about the right time Bart seems to be in first place Mike number 65 is in second place followed by Rob number 53 and Albert 463 and we see number 93 Kyle and Chris number 965 the pirate moving up remember they're racing two laps here they go down to the marks Two marks are upwind before traveling down to the gates, which they will pick which one to go around, and then they head back up to the start-finish line. Now they do two laps, and we are going to see. You know who are the favorites in this race? It is Mike Campbell and Bart with Mahi. Currently, I believe uh, it's pretty close for first place, Mahi is way up top, number 777. Mike Campbell's down bottom, and just then Bart gets a good pressure of air right there, and he, he feels those sails, but then he flutters a bit. But he may have a better line to that first mark. Mike is coming down that number 65. He has to tack back over to starboard tack. So that's going to cost him, whereas Bart is just on that port tack going right towards that mark. And it looks like Kyle is coming up. Kyle is in third place currently, number 93, followed by the Pirate Chris in number 965, that boat closest to us, as Bart makes his way around mark number one. See, Bart has to adjust his sails out there as Mahi gets back underway. We have a little bit of congestion around mark number one. 
Let's see if anybody hits. It's real close right there. Nobody taps each other as they make it around. And Albert comes out in second place, followed by Rob, number 53, who's in third place. And then Mike, Mr. International Campbell, was in fourth place as we get our eyes back on Mahi as he heads downwind for the first time. Mahi trying to defend his championship from last year, but these other contenders say they have something to say about it. We could see just there, I believe that was Rob in second place. Yeah, Rob pulls away from the others and he's trying to track down Mahi. Mahi has a really good lead, about 15 boat lengths right now. Sails wide open. The wind's pretty nice right now. Remember, they're going down to a gate. They pick which one. So far in this series, most of the competitors have taken the gate closest to the shore, the mark closest to the shore near us. Uh, only a couple of people have went outside. I believe I saw Bart do it one time. A couple of the other sailors did it, but the vast majority of the time they're taking the inside mark. But that could change as the wind changes. And look at this, the battle for third place I believe it's Kyle Albert and Mr. International Mike they're all chasing down second place right there it was Rob Dutton as we see Mahi rounds that mark he took the inside mark closest to shore that time followed by Rob's the second around that mark you can see the nice lead that Mahi has right there he's really selling well in this race It appears that Mike has now pulled back into the second, Mike Campbell. He's followed by, I believe that was Kyle in third, Rob's in fourth, Albert's in fifth, and Chris is in sixth. Mike has got some good speed going there as he tries to track down Mahi. Mahi's on the port tack. We saw Mr. International, he was on starboard tack. Mahi's got that famous grin there on those sails. Mike's reeling him in slowly. And Kyle's trying to catch up to second place, as is Rob, number 53, in his red boat. Albert is not doing too well right there. He's not moving very fast. He's losing water right there to Chris as the pirate is in increasing his speed. There's that beautiful boat of Rob Dutton, number 53, famous on the circuit. He's involved in all kinds of things. I believe he's a Commodore at the Solomon's Islands Model Boat Club. to slow down all of a sudden as we see Bart is going around that mark number one. Mr. International Mike Campbell in second place followed by Kyle in number 93. Kyle seems to be moving better than Mike at this point. Mike is sifting for the wind right there. Can he find it before Kyle catches up and passes him? We see Mahi just chugging along there, going to that mark number two. He really needs this win so he can separate himself from Mike. Because remember, they were tied at the on the points. But remember, we're also going to have a throwout after this race eight. We can see Mike is still holding off the other two right there as he heads to that mark for the second time. And Mahi is slowly making his way around mark number two before he heads downwind for the last time. He goes past the fountain right there. He makes the tack. Let's see if he can catch the wind when he makes tack. This is critical right here. Because if you don't catch the wind correctly in your sails, it takes time to recover. And look at this. We have a shift in the wind as we can see. 
Mr. National was coming up fast, so he's getting the win from them sails right there. Let's see if Mahi can adjust his sails so that he can hold Mike off. As we can see, Mike's got better speed. He's catching up to Mahi. I believe Mahi sails are in the right position, but sometimes the wind comes from the back and those boats behind just get pushed right back up to the front. We've seen that many, many times on Sail Wars. And look at Kyle coming up fast. Kyle's got the wind really. He's, he's probably got the most speed of any of the boats right now. Look at that. He's coming up so fast on Mahi. I believe he's going to catch Mahi. And right then, Mr. International in that yellow boat gets some good win. I believe he just did pass Mahi and taking over first place. And Rob Dutton in the red boat comes up fast and he passes Mahi too. So now Bart has fallen back to third place after leading most of this race by quite a bit. And he's farther outside, so the wind's going to be different out there for him and Kyle, number 93. So let's see if, if that hurts them or or is beneficial as we see they're actually speeding up now as the guys on the inside Rob and Mike are slowing down you can see the bubbles coming up those are aerators out here in the lake they keep the lake clean they don't really affect selling all that much And look at out on the outside. That's where the real race is going on right now as Kyle is trying to catch Bart and they, Bart takes back over first place. We may see them go for the outside mark now. Bart might believe that there's more wind out there on the middle or farther side of the lake. And look at this. Bart takes over first place. Kyle is in second place. And Bart goes for the outside mark and Kyle and Mike go for the closer mark and look at this Rob Dutton he goes for that outside mark too so Bart and Rob go for the outside mark at the gate the other two boats go for the inside let's see who is gonna make it to that finish line first we see Mahi has got some good wind right there Rob throws his boat over on the port tack first but Bart soon follows He's got some good power in those sails as he heads to that finish line. Can Bart hold off Rob or, or is Mike and Kyle going to come up from the bottom? We can't see them. They're off our camera here. Our camera's zooming in. Some big fish or turtle right there it looks like. Or maybe that's just one of those air sparger things. But here we can see Mahi coming to the finish line. It looks like it's going to be all Mahi unless the others come on screen right quick. Is it going to be Bart? And yes, number 777. Bart wins race number eight. And the crowd is going wild because Mahi is the most famous fish in the world. As Look at that, number 93, Kyle takes second place coming up from the shoreline. As number 65, Mike takes third place. And Rob, number 53, takes fourth place. Here comes the pirate, number 965. Chris is coming to the line. And Chris will finish in fifth place. We had a couple boats, I'm hearing, break down. So we'll, we'll see if we can get more information by the end of the race on that. I believe two of the boats have broken down in this race. So I hope that you fans out there weren't rooting for them. As right now, we're seeing Albert, number 463, come to the line. And Albert takes sixth place. Allen takes seventh place. He's called in place. And Mari and Winston did not finish. So they take eighth and ninth place. Incredible. So congratulations to our top three. First place, number 777, Bart and Mahi. Number second place is number 93, Kyle. And third place is number 65, Mike. Our current standings now after we have the one throw out. Bart is securely in first place with 11 points, followed by Mike with 15 points. Rob is in third with 26 points. Kyle's in fourth with 31 points. Albert's in fifth with 35 points. Mari has 36 points. We all points. are volunteers, and the way you can thank us is by subscribing. And thank you very much for watching our videos, and especially when you like them. If you're a club webmaster, we beg you to put the Sail Wars homepage 
you know, copy and paste the link, put it on your club's website, let your members know so they can become partners with us in our site of Sale Wars. When you get to our homepage, you'll see something that looks similar to this. It has all the playlists, all the videos you can click on them. You can even subscribe here on the homepage. It's real easy, totally free. And of course, check out the best of Sail Wars. This is where we put our favorite videos. You can look up boats, different types of boats, different types of races, how-to videos, everything like that we have on the Sail Wars homepage. So make sure you check it out. And make sure you join a great club near you like the Northern Maryland Model Yacht Club. Look them up on the internet. And of course, we love the AMYA. So, this is Sandy Palmwater. I'm staying here at the races, so I'll see you at the next race. Thanks a lot for watching.